Hey everyone, my name is Indira and I am a content creator and photographer from the San Francisco Bay Area. And on this channel, I like to do gear reviews, camera reviews, and from time to time, vlogging. So if that's something that you are interested in, make sure to like the video as it really does help the channel out and make sure to subscribe to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Sony ZV-E10, the predecessor to the Sony ZV-1 that I just reviewed. Now, this camera is a very unique camera because it's basically a I guess you could say a A6600 with a flippy screen and also has the ability to do interchangeable lenses. Now, I'll say straight off the bat, when Sony released this camera, I was at first a little bit confused as to why they would release this camera or what they were thinking when they released this type of product because technically they already have their A6600 and they already have the ZV-1 so it was sort of overlapping with their other products. But after trying the camera out and testing it out, I now know that it's definitely not like that at all. It's very much its own unique camera. And some of the reasons for that is just how small the camera body is. It's basically a, just a little bit bigger than the Sony ZV-1. It has a much better grip. The grip is very comfortable. It has a good sensor size, and it also has a lot of the features that vloggers and content creators, YouTubers are looking for in a price point that is really, really good and very competitive to the competition that is out there. This product is going for, the body only, is going for 698 US dollars before tax. Now, for that type of body, and what you're getting, the features, that's a really good price point. I mean, my Canon 90D, again, I always reference this camera because even though I did love that camera and it had a bunch of cool features and it was a 32 megapixel camera, it was lacking features that should have had at the price point that it was, which was around $1,200, I believe. While this is under $1,000 for the body only, and yet you get tons of features and the experience of being able to easily transport this camera and just have a compact, good vlogging rig, honestly, for almost any situation that you are in. So of course, the biggest difference from the ZV-1 to the ZV-E10 is that it has that glorious flippy screen, which honestly is really nice. And even though it is on a very small body, it doesn't feel like it's lacking in quality or size. And it also has that glorious ring or red box around the LCD screen. So you know that you're recording and it also has a tally light, I believe in the front. So that is a really nice addition. And again, I love that Sony is bringing this into their products and even on their lower budget cameras because I think it really is the future that tally lights are the future. So just looking at the specs real quick, it is a 24 megapixel camera. It is a crop sensor and it can do 4K up to 30 frames per second and 120 frames per second in full HD. And it does have autofocus. It has a three inch flip out LCD screen, the flippy screen, and it also has 11 frames per second in burst shooting mode. And it also has the real time I autofocus and it also has a background defocus and face priority focus. Straight off the bat, the body was very easy to navigate and it had buttons that are curated for content creators. So the record button is very easy to find. It also has a focus where you can 
blur the background, have that blurry background, and then you can unblur the background depending on you know what kind of shot you want to get. And it's just a press of a button, which is super convenient, especially for beginners. This definitely is a beginner type camera. I was using the 10 to 18 F4. It was pretty darn good. You could get a really clean image. It has S-Log. And because this camera is so small, I mean, if you are a female and you have a purse, you can just fit this camera in your purse, which is like amazing. So this is definitely geared toward beginners and also people wanting to go traveling, do travel photography and video and have a small form factor without sacrificing the quality. And what's great is that even if you do upgrade your camera, for example, if you get the Sony ZV-E10 and then maybe in a year or two you want to upgrade to the Sony A7C, for example, which is full frame, you can, but you also have the luxury of being able to use the Sony ZV-E10 as a secondary camera or a backup camera if you need it. So that's also really nice that the Sony ecosystem is just so interconnected and they are thinking of the YouTuber vlogger, you know, years from now and not just immediately in the moment. So overall, I really like this camera. Is it something that I personally would use? Um, Probably not because I do have my, you know, Sony FX3 and a Sony a7 III, but I can definitely recommend this to beginners and people wanting to get into the YouTube sort of content creation realm because it is so much geared towards content creators and it's so easy to use, pick up and still have a great image straight out of camera. But it also has the ability to, if someone wants to get into color grading, they can do that and that's really cool. And I like that Sony's doing that on their lower end type cameras that are under a thousand dollars. Like that's like, that's insane. So I really like that. And I think if you are a beginner and you want to pick this up, that this would be the camera to get. And then maybe in a few years from now, you can always upgrade to the A7C. I hope you guys enjoy this review of the Sony ZV-E10. Let me know, will you be picking one up? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, I hope you like the background that I'm working with right now. Um, I'm using the Freewell Variable ND Filter Mist Edition. So it should give more of like a glowy type look to, to the background. And uh, so far I like it. It's really, really good. And um, I will definitely be making a review about this filter very soon. So yeah, stay on the lookout for that. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.